to a student uh, continuing with the isometric projection of a combination of a solid where we kept uh, uh, one of the solid as a common thing like a square slab. So we have done problem number six in the previous video where you can refer where exactly we have done a square block above that when there will be a custom of a square pyramid. Now looking into the problem number 17 again uh, the similar one where we have uh, the bottom solid as a square slab and above that one there is a cone. Okay. So to draw that one uh, we will just go with a, a 0.13 line normally whenever we start isometric we will take one horizontal line and we need a square block which is of 80 and uh, just to start with that one we will just go with a 80 then 30 then 80 then 150 80 then minus 150 then 80 then minus 30 okay so the height of that one they have given it as a 20 so from any one corner we will take 20 and height always we said is from 80 and then copy the uh, square and uh, uh, move it with the copy on by any one of the corner okay so then move the line to the three corners as we said like you just uh, you can just avoid these lines where things are not needed for us okay so when this one is done always you locate the center of the uh, bottom solid so in order to locate that one we are going to have one horizontal line okay so above this one there is a cone uh, a base diameter is uh, 50 and the height is a 40 okay so again as we already discussed in the uh, um, previous problems where in order to draw the cone okay or a circular thing we need to have a square which is equal to the base diameter so the base diameter is 50 already we have a uh, square here so we can go to the scale copy on we need a square of 50 divided by we have a square of 80 like that and keep it at the center itself because that will come at the bottom so now you can just zoom up this one in order to draw the uh, circular objects we go with the tangent mark where go we follow the midpoints of the each line of a square okay so the now uh, we need to take a height of a, a cone where we will go with the uh, line type 3 and again from the same uh, center point the height we have given here it's a 40 so we'll take like 40 enter 90. when this one is done you can just change the line thickness or uh, line type to the continuous one and you can zoom the uh, lower part of the core so the tangent are I will take a line from the tip that is apex of a cone to the tangent. Okay, then we can go to the mirror option and mirror this line and go to this one. So just copy it. So now we'll go to the trim option, trim of these lines. If you are not having a time, you need not worry uh, too much okay, about trimming the lines and all. Now we can select the uh, uh, visible lines directly. Things and connect this to it. Scale factor copy of 0.8164. Okay, so without fail, go to the angle between this line and this line, 30 degree, this line, and this line, and 30 degree. Now you can zoom properly and you can check it out here. Most of the time, what the people will do here we will not trim this part okay. so this and the part here which are very important here. so once you trim off that one 
just zoom and check it out that is a square slab above that one there is a core so always keep the height which you are going to take it as an axis line here and easily you can get a 25 marks which is the reserve for that one okay so that's how exactly we can do a cone here okay so if you take up one more normally okay so if you have an hemisphere okay the problem number 15 where it says there is an hemisphere which is placed over a centrally on a again a square prism okay so the base of that one will be like either a prism or a slab or a cube okay one of the same it will be my so if you take a now uh, again a square block which is of 60 again we'll have one line and from the uh, uh, on the line we'll take like 60 then 30 then 60 then 150 and 60 then minus 150 then 60 and then minus 30 okay so the height they have specified it as a 30 okay so it's as a 30 and 90 and we'll select the uh, square and we'll go with the copy on and we'll move to the top so we we'll move this line to the bottom one. Okay, so we we'll delete these lines, and always once you complete the first solid, we have to the center. Okay, so we'll go with the angle between this and this, so 30, this and this. And this. Okay. Now above this one there is a uh, hemisphere. Hemisphere is something like a half cut uh, water minimum. So the top face of that one is again. A circle okay a circular base again for that one we need a square which is equal to the diameter of a any square so this is a square of 50 we need a square of 50 here okay we'll go to a scale command copy on we need a square of 50 divided by we have a square of 60 okay, so enter so for a timing we'll keep it at the center then we'll move to outward because that is not at the base it is at the top okay so now let's zoom this part properly and to draw the uh, circular base here we'll go with the tangent r midpoint 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 then midpoint midpoint then again end point So now to locate the center of this one we need to have one horizontal line okay so now this whatever the uh, uh, circular base is at the top okay that means like half cut half cut means we need to have it's not a diameter it's a radius we need to take it from the center of the bottom solid bottom solid is a square slab from the center we take a radius that is of 25 enter and enter Okay, so this is where exactly this a uh, circle will come. That is a radius, radius of a hemisphere. We'll go to the move command, copy off from this move point. We'll move this one to the tip of the radius. Okay, so you can see now here this this is as exactly. Now there is a, a, a curve which comes. Here, okay so that curve we need to draw once we convert this one to the uh, scale that means the curve will not change okay as we have uh, discussed in a sphere problem the sphere diameter of the sphere will not change uh, but only the reference point will change uh, in the isometric scale so we'll change this one to the iso scale and we'll place it here so once this one is done now go back to the arc by center point and from the mid that is the tip of the radius and from this midpoint we just draw a curve okay so it is of continuous and it will be visible for us okay so once this one is done the top face of the hemisphere will be visible for us we make it 25 and here you need to trim a few points where exactly these things get smaller Go to the trim option, trim these lines.
can do this then. Zoom this properly and take up these lines and make it on top, which is visible for us. <coughs> you should be very careful when you're trimming the lines. So this is how exactly you can do it for <coughs> hemisphere. Hemisphere, uh, draw the uh, bottom solid and from the center of that one, draw the radius. Okay, radius. Then at the top of that one, we will be having a circular uh, top face. Place that one here by dropping with a, a square. Then once you convert to the scale, come back and draw this curve with the arc by center point. Okay, that's how exactly we can do the hemisphere. Okay. So 